Middleton, Eric Blitzel at the guard, and Middleton has been on fire. The officiating crew, Zach Sauber, John Goble, Pat Frere, and the alternate 40 final seconds of the quarter. Here's Hill. Connaughton for three at the buzzer. Connaughton, two on the shot clock. It's Connaughton with the pass. Play by Hayden, and the third is Connaughton on the drive, blocked by Tatum, and back comes Tatum. Tatum banks it home. He's got a straight down the lane, and a foul! Uphill battle all the way, particularly with Game 5 in Milwaukee, although we have seen both teams win. Game 5 in Milwaukee, Wednesday night here on TNT. We'll have it for you. 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 Pacific. So you are hearing the booze from... I mean, the X Factor for the Rockets, and really all playoffs has been Eric Gordon and his shooting ability. 7 of 14 from downtown, but more importantly, attacking Steph Curry, making him work at the defensive end. Steph Curry, 11 points, 4 assists as well. Paul driving on Looney, puts on the break, stops on a dime, and gets the deuce. 20 percent. Igudawa, defended by Shumpert, 3, good, he got it! Buzzer beating triple by Igudawa! Right by Looney again, he collapsed the defense. Step back, 3, good! The birthday boy, Paul, will inbound. Three cut by James Hart. What a pass by Chris Paul. It off to Curry. Curry in the Tucker. Three. No. Rebound, Igudala. Back to Curry. Three. Good. It's what a shot. Shot. The inbound. He's got Hart. It's by Green. Bumps in the Tucker. 15 to 20. Warriors 16 to 23. Golden State with Igudala comes. This is for a tie from Durant. No, it's back to Durant. Curry for the tie. No, rebound Paul. Foul, Golden State. Right, two of five, Curry from three, four of 14. Paul at the free throw line. It's a four point lead for the Rockets. 2.9, long throw green, here's Durant, three, no, that's it. This series has just gotten incredibly tight. And Iguodala battles, and the shot clock reset to 14. Clay Thompson tries again, gets again. Clay Thompson, six for six. He's got 14 points in the opening period. Durant, pull up jumper. Looney, offensive rebound, Thompson puts it in. Clay Thompson sizzling here in the opening period. He's seven for seven. And his teammate loves it. Fellow Splash brother. Chandler guarding Durant. Durant back out. Thompson corner three. It's good. Clay Thompson. Green gets it. Kicks it back out. Durant. Extra pass. Thompson barely had it in his hands. And throws it. He releases it. Doesn't have to dip the ball to an extra pass. Could have easily taken the first three himself. Back out, Clay Thompson, his baseline jumper's good. 27 first half point. Playing for one another. Thompson fires, and it's Clay Thompson. Those are his first points since the first half when he exploded for 27. Thompson turns, shoots, and scores. Clay Thompson. Give me the basketball and get out of my way. Who wins? Does his job forcing him out, but he's too small, and Clay Thompson doesn't even see him in the picture. Monty Williams and Ty Lue have been the two primary candidates in this search. And Monty Williams came to a point in recent days where he had to make a decision on L.A. or Phoenix. And especially when you look at that Phoenix job with Robert Sarver, he'll be the, he is the fifth coach in five years now there.
he made a decision that he saw more upsides, and, and, and this is a crazy word to use with the Suns, but stability with the Suns than is there with the Lakers for a lot of different reasons. I don't think in the process leading right up until Monty Williams' decision that the Lakers thought for a moment that Williams would choose the Suns, but he did. Wow.